Have you ever wondered why a chair is designed the way it is? Aren't you curious about how your online marketplace orders are delivered to you amid the pandemic? Or maybe you recently went out and were puzzled as to why you got stuck in a long queue of people? Well, these are the problems industrial and systems engineers are continuously trying to solve to make the world a better place. Industrial and Systems Engineering, or ISC for short, is all about finding ways to improve or design things to be more efficient to eliminate the waste of time, money, materials, energy, and many more. We study math, computing, production management, process control, and human behavior to have a better understanding of how the industrial field works. An industrial and systems engineer has flexibility in terms of profession and work environment. From being a project manager in a corporate skyscraper, a logistics specialist in a delivery company, a quality control engineer at a hospital, to a production planner in a factory, you name it. So, what do we learn exactly to have a wide range of professions to choose from? Take a look at the things and the systems around you. Chairs and tables are designed to specific dimensions and features to support you in doing your activity. On another note, the queuing system that you can find in service companies like hospitals and banks was also carefully designed according to inter-arrival and service time. Both product and system design exist to ensure the safety, comfort, and satisfaction of humans. Now, think about the time when you ordered something online. How can your items be delivered from a faraway place right to your front door on time? The supply chain logistic management goes to the hands of industrial and systems engineers. Now, what does the future hold for industrial and systems engineers? Well, Due to the never-ending race to find improvements, there is a great need for capable industrial and systems engineers in the world. Being one means that you have to be innovative in finding or creating solutions. You also have to be thorough in reviewing related aspects to the solution and whether it is possible or not to face the risk attached to it. Those aspects are economy, environment, social, and many more. Everything that industrial and systems engineers do focuses on making the overall outcome to be more efficient, beneficial, sustainable, and better. So, have you figured out what industrial and systems engineering is all about? Well, I'm ready to take my part in making the world a better place. Are you?